Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Acres. And I thought I'd just take you on a little bit of a tour of the yard today. Whew, show you what we're up to. We're a little messier than usual. A few more weeds than usual. But some of our flowers have really been doing their own thing and I really thought people would enjoy it. So here we go. have one of the best collections of violets and some other perennials than we've had in a long time. Here you can see our first bloom on the lupin. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is uh, col columbine. And check out this columbine plant. It's a monster. Just huge mungus. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think that the columbines are like three years old, I want to say. I started a bunch of them from seed. And what's interesting is that the flowers themselves have sort of changed over time. Like the first year, I think we got just a couple of flowers on it and they were bigger. But man, these clusters are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And this is going to be a hollyhock, which is going to be awesome. Um, the violets down at the base here have been blooming pretty continuously. They're uh, kind of in between things now. But just to have this cheerful greenness next to the front door is lovely. And here we'll have another hollyhock. It's got full of full of flowers. That's going to be really nice. This has been kind of a work in progress and also a uh, just so we sort of let it morph along its own ways. There have been snapdragons that self-seeded in here. There's been all kinds of stuff that have self-seeded in this pot over the years. I have specifically planted things a couple of times. I think the only thing we have in here right now is. Uh, is violets and earlier it was just gorgeous with violets so but it's nice that this uh, hollyhock self seeded in there because that'll protect it from gophers and such the only thing that could possibly mess that guy up now is uh, squirrels so yeah that's doing really well on the other side of the uh, <laughs> we're really licking our toes right now but on the other side of the front door um, I used to have another columbine there, and it died last year when the water system was cut. Uh, I have not really redone the water in here yet this year. I kind of just played with it a little bit. You'll notice there are some violets and stuff that have been chopped off back here. I don't know whether that was a rat or a squirrel. I did see a squirrel the other day. I have not seen it since. I am watching for it because if it comes back and I see it, I'm going to take care of it. It's going away. They are our biggest, most destructive problem here. These are chrysanthemums. And uh, the ancestors of the plant that are, <laughs> that are now there, I have no idea what these colors are going to be. I have several colors. And uh, due to water difficulties and some invasive stuff that chewed on things. I have, I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting to see what these colors turn out to be this year. I did transplant in uh, right there as another columbine. That self-seeded into a pot and wound up out in the greenhouse. And uh, when I was starting to water pots this spring to use them for other things, magically that popped up. And yeah, so it's hopefully... It, I put, specifically put it where the uh, watering line was giving a nice amount of water and put some mulch around it. So it seems to be doing really well. I can see that there's also some marigolds coming up in here. And that will be our traditional marigolds. <laughs> Confusing the, the camera here. Um, that'll be the traditional marigolds that we grow from the same seeds every year. This area here has a mix of 
this is a weed. I need to get him out of there. Uh, yeah, there a lot of weeds in here, but there's also like this is spatula button. There's some violets, a little bit of grass. I pulled all the grass a couple of weeks ago, but obviously, you know, more comes back. Here's another marigold that's coming in. So, uh, yeah, we'll have some interesting things coming in here. I do need to start some more flowers. Uh, one of the things you have to watch is the differences. Like, okay, this is a weed, but this is a bachelor bun. So it's that attention to detail when it comes to what's a weed and what's a bachelor button. <laughs> and this is uh, the arrow, which we consider to be a plague here. So that gets pulled out too. And this is obviously some grass that just blew in when we were pulling weed somewhere else. I can see a few of these, um, few of these plants are showing a little water stress so I need to increase the amount of irrigation over here. I need some run some new lines in this front section here. I lost those lines last year when they were chomped. But generally pretty pleased with this section over here. This is the uh, lavender. This was a really scraggly unhappy looking little lavender cutting. Uh, I think this is and I trimmed off the blooms and dead branches from last year. And yeah, obviously it looks pretty happy now. We are irrigating here, so. And this section over here is our perennial bed, which is kind of a mishmash right now. We cleared the weeds out of here a couple of times already this spring, but they're back. And uh, I also need to, I had planned to plant, and I just realized this like yesterday. I had planned to plant some new, perennials in here and I ordered roots and I realized yesterday I never got them so I'm going to have to figure out which company it was I ordered them from and say hey guys I never got the stuff what where did you send it because it never got here so but these are uh, these are bad uh, not bachelor buttons <laughs> there is a bachelor button down there that's what I was thinking about but these are all um Black Eyed Susans, Rebecca. And this is a weed. These are incredibly difficult to get rid of because they have a taproot, you know, halfway to China. Uh, these, this has been cleaned out multiple times this spring so far, but they, things keep coming back. I need to get these guys out of here again. They are a wildflower. This is kind of a pain. Nothing cool, just a, a, so a weed that's very tenacious. Uh, let's see. This, these calendulas were self-seeded things that I found in random buckets in the greenhouse. So I went ahead and transplanted them out here when I needed to use those buckets for something else. And this thing over here is a weed. That's a solanum nightshade family, and it's prickly and it's obnoxious. I need to have heavy leather gloves on. And this is a self-seeded hollyhock. So that should be giving us some good flowers this summer. I need something and I'm not sure what. I think that may have been some damage earlier. Maybe when we had some frost or something. But I need to give it a little bit of TLC, a little bit of fertilizer. Because it should be the same kind of green as these Rebecca's and it isn't. So I can see there's a little bit of a couple of weeds in there I need to pull. But other than that, this perennial bed, my plan this spring was to um, add those other roots that I ordered. I don't even remember the names of the darn things. I know that one of the things I ordered was a clematis because I was going to raise the height of this fence here and let it run on there. And, uh, yeah, it never came in. So um, I did send somebody money, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to basically tell them I don't want it. Uh, now we're into too much of the depth of the summer that needed to go in earlier, but always annoying. Uh, let's see, our iris garden is done, uh, but not everything in this is iris, so I pull. A, I need to re-pull again weeds. I've got stuff growing up in here again. That's mostly wild stuff. I to see any 
sometimes we get some self-seeded plants in here. And I will need to pull out some of the weeds in the grass. I think that's a weed. And I don't want this. These are wild daisies. I don't want them growing in here. Um, I discovered the hard way that they are too invasive and therefore they need to come out. But usually what I plant here is uh, I plant marigolds, but there may not be enough room this year. I, I normally plant uh, the tiny little marigolds just in this like empty section here, but the iris has really leaned out this past year. Here's some of my very successful bachelor buttons. These are wild sunflowers, which I don't want in the flower beds. That's a standard old weed. Ah, that's, this guy's a solanum, which I cannot pull barehanded, or I will regret it because it has stickers. This is some of the wild daisies, which are not allowed in the flower beds. And I have some weeds here, also some self-seeded bachelor buttons. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Just the other day, these uh, these guys were tiny and too too small to pull. Now they're in the way. Uh, this is Sweet William and Bachelor Buttons and more Bachelor Buttons. Some of the Sweet William died this spring, and I don't know why, but maybe just didn't get water at the right moment. There's a Johnny Jump up in here. See, there he is. And I'm hoping to encourage those this year, so I'm going to be really careful when I'm pulling weeds over here not to accidentally pull those out. We have uh, more bachelor buttons and some violets that have spread themselves in here, and I'll, I'll let them be. Worry about that. If they can compete with the uh, bigger plants, so be it. If they can't, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. There's several solanum plants in here that I'm going to have to pull out with gloves. Uh, over here, we have our day lilies that Henry bought me last year. And uh, they did bloom. They're a little crowded now. I'm going to have to, <laughs> going to, have to consider whether I'm going to move them out farther because the virus has done so well this year that it's sort of taking a little bit of the planet. But there's also a other uh, bed over here trying to decide what this is called. This is a lupin over here. This one. There's another lupin flower in here, which is now kind of buried under everything, which is not good. These are obnoxious little weeds. If I can pull them young, they're fine. If I let them get big, they're hard to get out. So we have these stupid weeds. I need to get them out. But along the edge here, we've got some bachelor buttons that are coming in nicely and things like that. And uh, I'm going to try to push them back into the uh, beds a little bit more this year. I tried that last year, and I obviously got a few of them come back in. But for some reason, they like being right outside the beds. <sighs> Nothing I can do about that. There is a little clump of violets that's done well over here. I had had... Um, Zinnias over there a couple of years ago. The problem being they just, I don't know. They, they got munched by the rodents so badly and they couldn't compete, so.